You were like a ransom note If I give in, will you come home? I'd put everything I had into getting you
been so long since I have put up a vlog and as probably everybody feels that does anything on YouTube, it's been like pretty boring around our house. Like we are home all the time in the quarantine and not much going on, but maybe I shouldn't let that get in my way and just turn the camera on and talk and see how y'all are doing. Um, make some memories and see what the kids are up to so I can look back at these videos later and um, maybe I should just be better about it. Um, I am here in my bedroom. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you moms and influential women and um, anyone else who um, might be a grandmother. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I um, am up here in my bedroom. My husband is prepping dinner. He is going to make us some steaks. We recently bought a cow and had it processed and have a bunch of stuff in our freezer now for beef. Um, it's so hard to find meat anymore in the stores and when you can it's like you get such a small limit that you're allowed. So we decided to do that and um, we're going to try and get our hands on some chickens as well. But he's going to make us some steaks for um, Mother's Day and I'm going to come up here because Tomorrow is actually our youngest's birthday. He's going to be two. And I have a couple more gifts to wrap for him that I haven't finished doing. Um, some of his, some of our family members have sent him things through Amazon and um, I need to wrap those. And then my husband got him one more thing today. So I'll show you guys what we've got him that is not wrapped. And then I'll try and remember to turn the camera on tomorrow while he opens his other gifts and maybe document some of his birthday. So he's our little uh, joy. Um, he brings us so much happiness in our family. He's our entertainment. He's hilarious. He's funny. And um, I'm just, I feel very blessed to have him in our family. And I cannot believe I have four children. And um, it just is so humbling to think about all these little lives that we're responsible for but they are just a joy and today of course on Mother's Day they've been squabbling like all day long and it just reminds me like days are hard but they're very short and um, one day I'm gonna miss that sound of the squabbling and it's gonna be super quiet in our house and I'm gonna miss them terribly but anyways um, let me get to wrapping so I'm gonna show you what I need to wrap his um, aunt and uncle that live in a town not too far from us have sent him this. He's going to love that. Um, he is like from the moment he wakes up to the moment he goes to bed, he just wants to play with vehicles. So this one he's going to love. And then an aunt and uncle that live in um, Connecticut sent him this one. And he is totally obsessed with excavators, diggers of all kinds, bulldozers, pickup trucks, all that kind of stuff. And then today my husband bought him this at Tractor Supply. Got him a little pickup truck that looks like daddy's. And a trailer, a gooseneck trailer. So he... He um he has little trucks like this and they are all like from when my older boys were young and he the poor thing he just everything he plays with is just like beat up or broken or has a wheel missing or something. So I wanted to get him some vehicles this birthday because he just loves them so much and have some new things just for him. So I'll open that up tomorrow and we're gonna have cupcakes. Uh, my parents will come in the middle of the morning and um, give him some stuff that they bought and it'll be fun he we keep telling him it's going to be his birthday tomorrow and he keeps saying no and then we'll say like you're going to be two and he keeps saying no because he's like we've taught him that he's one for so long so i think he just doesn't either believe us or doesn't understand but it's super cute and um, my husband had the kids get me an amazon gift card 
So I'm going to load that on my account and pick something from my wish list that I can buy for Mother's Day for myself. So that was really sweet of him. And he bought me flowers. I'll try to remember to show you guys on the video what the flowers look like. So I'm gonna get to wrapping. And I have run out of birthday paper. So I have this Christmas superheroes paper. That's what we're gonna use for him. Like I said, and my husband needed a couple of things for his uh, weed sprayer. Um, some parts, I guess he had it, it was, he was trying to get it to work and it was broken, needed some parts. So he got that and we waited in a forever long line at Starbucks for my drink. Um, I did want to update you on my training. Um, as you may recall me talking in previous videos about my running, I am um, still training for my half marathon, which is now virtual, just like every other race in the world. Um, but I decided since they gave us a choice um, between running it virtually now before June 1st, um, running it in person in October, um, and then otherwise like deferring to next year or something like that. There were a couple other options, but since I had done all the work thus far on my training, um, I decided to go ahead and run it virtually. Um, so I have to do that by June 1st. My, my goal is uh, the last weekend of May I'm going to run that. And um, best case scenario would be... Um, the weekend before that because I'm my fear is now we're getting into the summer months and the weeks and I'm afraid it's gonna get too hot and that's the best part about the spring races is that it's chilly in the morning and very nice in the day and it's not like too hot yet so now that we're pushing closer to June I'm afraid of it getting too hot um, we are in the Midwest in the United States and it's just unpredictable weather so I think what I'm going to do is, um, I ran nine miles yesterday and I was scheduled to run eight. So I was thinking next weekend is supposed to be nine. If I make it 10 or 11, if I'm feeling good enough, then I can do the 13 the following weekend instead of waiting two more weeks. So, um, I'm going to just take that as it comes and see how it goes. I might just not have a great run next weekend and decide to keep it the last weekend of May, I'm not sure, but um, I'm not having as much fun training uh, for this virtual half marathon as I normally would for a physical race, but um, it's for my accomplishment and my own self, so I decided to just push through it. They did say that I could register again, so if I run it virtually, get my medal and my t-shirt and everything, for doing that, um, I can register again and still run it in October as well, which I might do because I really just want to run that race. It's always so well done and um, it's so much fun for those of you who are runners or who have ever done a race before. It's so much fun because you're with all these people that just love running as well and um, the hype, the music, the celebration. Um, 
the, the spectators along the way. It's just super fun. So um, I'm going to get a little bit creative with my race though, my virtual race. I'm, I decided that, that I was going to run my course around my house. So um, I went on Garmin's website and I made um, a course for 13.1 miles that's on the roads around my house and I decided to notify the neighbors that I was going to run by their home and um, I'm gonna have Garmin figure it out like based on when I leave um, and start the race and my estimated pace it'll tell me like when I might pass their house so then I can tell them um, when to expect me and they can come out and wave at me and show me their support and so um, I decided to notify them. Um, I'm trying to make it a little bit more fun than rather just running it myself and then finishing 13 miles and woohoo. But um, my parents and uh, my husband and my kids, they're also going to see me along the way several points during the course so that they can um, cheer me on, give me water, Gatorade, whatever I need at the time, maybe a little pause, give them hugs. Um, and so I think it'll be fun. I hope the weather cooperates no matter what day I choose to do it. I just hope that it goes well. I have been working out recently with Andrew. Um, I asked him, I was doing the Beachbody 21 day fix recently and I got like a week in and I asked Andrew if he would consider working out with me and he decided to join me. So he's actually trying to finish the 21 day fix now. Um, and then on the days that I'm not running or don't have a rest day, then I'm working out with him and he's done really well. He has gotten stronger and he's, um, losing weight. Of course, men, when they exercise and diet, they just like, it just melts off of them. Um, and so he has lost, I think eight pounds so far and he's doing super good. He's done a little bit over two weeks of it. And once he finishes the 21 day fix, which I had already finished, um, we're gonna pick another program from the Beachbody list and um, start that fresh together. And I think it'll be a lot of fun to work out. We've been enjoying working out together. Um, it's good for him. He sees like how hard it is and the progress he's making. So it's really good. Um, I think that's just the best thing you can do now in the quarantine anyway is just like take care of yourself eat right exercise and like take your vitamins it's really all you can do and then try not to go insane you know in boredom or whatever but the kids they just finished school this past friday their school has decided that there would be no new assignments past friday and they've finished everything this week coming up is um, just catch up on everything that you haven't finished. The teachers will notify them if they haven't done an assignment and they need to complete it by this coming Friday. Um, and then also this week they'll be going to the school and um, spread out like certain times and they'll be turning in their textbooks and things like that. So um, we will be doing that. And then also Joshua has his two year checkup on Tuesday. So um, I will probably be, be taking him to that. There's no other siblings allowed in the doctor's office and only one parent or guardian can take him. So it's probably gonna be me. Um, we have not vlogged about it because I don't think I had my camera out at all, but actually um, Joshua recently fractured his wrist in two places by falling off of the arm of the sofa we had um, told him so many times not to sit there and he continued to do it over and over and then finally fell off of it onto his arm and he fractured it in two places and that was the beginning of April. So he had a cast on his arm from, um, I don't remember if I got any video of him, but from basically right here on his hand all the way up and to like here on his arm. And so he had that for four weeks and that was kind of a challenge for um, me. I mean, for him, it really wasn't much of a challenge because honestly, like the second day that he had the cast, he was acting like it wasn't bothering him at all. He was just like, oh, now I'm gonna use my left hand. And he just, I don't know, he just, kids are amazing. They're so resilient. 
Um, it really did not seem to affect him. He did not have trouble sleeping with it. He just was a trooper. He did it and we got it off and he's been doing really well since then. So I think that being said, all of that trauma that he went through going to those appointments and getting his cast on and his splint and all that stuff and like all of the medical professionals had just like head to toe gear on and it just scared him. So I think that where before he was like pretty good at the doctor, I think that Tuesday is going to be kind of rough. I have a feeling like he's going to be very difficult and afraid and maybe probably uncooperative, but we'll see how that goes. He has his two year checkup. So um, that's what's been going on. I also have made a quilt for a friend's baby. It's her first baby and um, she had like baby showers scheduled and all kinds of stuff and they had plans for like her mom to go to the birth and all these things and then um, this quarantine stuff happened and now her shower has been canceled and her mom's not gonna be allowed at the hospital for the birth. She's giving birth in June. And so um, I just wanted to do something like super special for her. She um, has meant a lot to our family over the past years and her mom as well. And um, I had already sent her a couple things on uh, her Amazon baby wish list that were gifts from us, but I decided to make her a quilt as well. I was gonna ship it to her after the baby was born. And then her mom texted me and said, who is throwing a drive-by baby shower, which I think is super cute. Um, such a cute idea. So um, actually, so next Saturday, they're having a one hour time frame where you drive by and the mom-to-be and her mom are going to be sitting in their in her yard and you can drive by and hand the gifts to them and watch them watch her open it and um, they're gonna have like treats and stuff for the people that come which I think is just the cutest idea so her mom invited me to it and now I get to give it to her in person and see her right. open I'm hoping that this helps her first baby's arrival and all that fun stuff that you normally experience for a first child that it, it helps it make it super special for her in this really tough time so that's what I've been working on I finished that quilt um, and I've also been working on some making some summer rules for the kids so typically I do that every summer they have to have a um, task list completed every day before they can have any free time or electronics time. And so I have been working on the summer rules list for this summer, especially since school is already over. Um, we have been blessed with an extra long summer now with everything canceled. So like Lauren normally does swim team and that's been canceled recently. The boys were gonna go to summer camp, That's those have been canceled. And so it's like you're, you have this early release from school and then like nowhere to go and enjoy so my husband and i have been talking we're going to try and come up with something really creative that we can do really fun this summer that will be like i don't know memorable so that it's not just like doom and gloom you know um like woe is me we can't go anywhere or do anything so we will see what we come up with um we also, I mean, probably just like any of you, I'm probably like preaching to the choir here, but we also had like tickets to the aquarium that we wanted to use coming up really soon. So, um, that is what we've been up to. Um, I have just been really focusing on my running. Like I said, I've got super close to the actual race date and, um, not much longer in my training so um, I'm just hoping and praying that I don't get injured I don't get sick and that I can finish this off strong and um, then the flying pig will be sending my gear to me like my shirt and my medal and stuff like that they said after June 1st they'll be sending all that stuff so um, we recently had Andrew's birthday in April. We recently had David's birthday in early May. He turned 14. 
We had my mom's birthday. She just turned 70. Um, my dad's birthday was late April and he just turned 69. So we've been having like our huge slew of birthdays that normally happen, um, but just not a whole lot of celebrating because we didn't like go do stuff. Um, we tried to make it special for each other um, throughout the quarantine. So yeah, so Joshua's is tomorrow. And then my parents' anniversary is next. And then Lauren's birthday is June 9th. And then mine is a week later on June 16th. So we've always had like this huge rush of birthdays. And then we take a breath. And then Jacob is in August. And he's actually the last one in our immediate family um, for the year. So that is what has been going on. Hey everyone, so I didn't really close out the vlog in that last clip, so I decided to, um, as I was editing, I realized how long the video was, and so I apologize for that, but I am going to close off this vlog. Thank you so much for watching us. We hope you um, have subscribed if you haven't already, and continue to join us on our journey, and I hope to pick up the camera more often and do some more vlogging here in the near future. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.